Hej alle sammen, og rigtig hjertelig velkommen til den her video her. I dag sidder jeg nu her og sidder med mit kontor. Christoffer sidder lige herovre, fordi han skal hjælpe med at tage nogle billeder og filme lidt under det her, jeg skal til at lave nu. For det der skal ske, det er simpelthen, at jeg skal interviewe Hero og Josephine, som spiller Tessa og Harden i After. What is life series? Det er insane. Så jeg sidder lige her og skal ind på det her halvøj sådan noget her, hvor jeg skal nemme og mødes min producer først, der lige skal guide mig frem i alt det her, og så skal jeg snakke med dem. Og jeg skal stille en masse spørgsmål, som I har stillet. Uh, my name is Anna. And I am a Danish influencer, YouTuber, and I promise my followers to just say hey to you. Mm -hmm. uh, because they are a really huge fan of After and I am myself too. Thank you. And I've got a lot of questions from my followers to you. And uh, one of them is, what is your best after moment? My best after moment. Oh, there's so many. Um, To give you the fast one, let's see. My best after moment is probably... Um, When we did the press tour last year, um, I love doing book tours by myself and seeing the fans come out, but knowing that so many of them came out for the movie was really like touching, seeing like just a sea of people screaming and stuff for the cast too was really fun. Um, and it yeah. kind of made it more like, now we have a movie and it's alive and it was really exciting. So cool. Also, what do you think makes Josephine and Hero the perfect Tissa and Harden? Uh, with Josephine, it's, I mean, not only physically she looks like Tessa, um, but she has this naive maturity about her that she can look very naive and innocent, but also hold her ground and be really mature at the same time. Um, she's also just very dedicated to her job. So Tessa is very dedicated as well. So it's they have a lot of similar like personality points. Um, and then for Hero and Harden, There was something, I keep saying like kind of movie magic. There was just something that when he came in um, and it was down to the last three people, there was just something about him that I was like, he is, he's just, I don't know. I couldn't see anybody else after that. It's like, once I knew, I knew. And I'm like, I don't know what it is exactly, but he should be hardened. Um, and now that has proven to be true. So I'm glad. I know in the beginning, a lot of the fans were, a little unsure, but I think that he's proven himself now. I think he's perfect as well. <laughs> Thank you. Also, what is your favorite after quote? Favorite after quote is probably um, the one that says, it's ironic, really, the man who hates the world is the most loved by it. Um, that one, just because I think even if I didn't write that, it would probably be like one of my favorite quotes if it was from another book too, just because I love this kind of idea, even though it's sad, but I love this idea of um, this guy who just thinks everybody hates him and he hates everything and he's miserable, when in reality, everyone cares about him so deeply and they just wish that he would see that. So for yeah. me, that's one of my favorite quotes. Also, how did you come up with the story? Uh, I mean, it was kind of all over the place. I started writing the first chapter with no plan. I just was kind of honestly bored and I was reading a lot on Wattpad and they people I was reading weren't really updating their stories. So I thought, oh, I'll just write a chapter. And I knew that it was going to be obviously a fan fiction. And I knew that it would be set in a college, but I didn't really know where it was going at all. So I just went like chapter by chapter and the story developed as I went. So I didn't really have any plan or anything. Like all of it was just like luck, I guess. I don't know. But it did start out with you being like a fan of One Direction or Harry Styles, right? Yeah. So I loved fan fiction. I loved One Direction in general, but then I started reading a lot of fanfic and then I started seeing all these edits where people would pet tattoos on the guys in One Direction. And I was like, man, that would be really cool. Like if they did all, this was before they had tattoos in real life. Uh, they only, Harry only had like a few tattoos. Um, and I just had this like complete alternate reality in my head of like what it would be like, even though the personalities are all fictional and Harden is the farthest thing from Harry Styles personality wise. Um, but it started just from fandom and fan fiction and my love of fan fiction in One Direction. What is your favorite memory on set? Uh, my favorite memory from the second movie is probably, I mean, there's just so many random ones, but the one that made me, um, like, I guess the most emotional uh, was a fight between Harden and Tessa um, and it, this yard scene. And it wasn't like fun at all. It was miserable to film and it was very draining, but I was just really proud of the actors and their performance. So for me, it was like this kind of moment of like this scene, I know that it's going to mean something to people. And so that was probably my favorite 
moment on the set of second. There was a bunch of like funny moments and fun stories, but that for me is like, when you ask the question, it's the first one that comes to my mind. Uh, can you describe Hesa in three words? Ooh, uh, complicated, <laughs> passionate, and, oh, the pressure. Um, and, <laughs> De oh, I was going to say delicate. I'll say delicate because they're very, it's like part of them is very delicate. And then the other part is just like really hard. So when they collide, it's like just, I guess, delicate. Yeah, go with yeah. delicate. Nice. Thank you. My followers would like you to say something in Danish. So could you maybe try to say kol kol mifl? Kol kol mifl? Very good. <laughs> very thank nice. you. I don't think I have any more questions left. Um, so thank you very much for Thank talking. you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Jeg skal nok lige optage på, at jeg har fundet ud af, at jeg ikke kun skal snakke med Josephine og Hero, jeg skal også snakke med Dylan Sprouse. Okay, well, hi, my name is uh, Anna, and I'm a Danish YouTuber, and I promise all my followers to say hey to all of you guys. Hey! Hello, followers. Um, hey. <laughs> I'm also filming this for my YouTube channel, so if you could maybe just say, yeah, hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Hello. <laughs> Well, uh, I have some questions from all my followers, and uh, the first one is, what is your best after moment? Like, wait, in the movie, or you mean in real life? Uh, in the movie. Oh, sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, what's your best moment after? Sorry. Um, um, in the movie. <laughs> um, we were doing this, I, I really don't know, but I, I know there's this scene we were doing in a car with this actress, and, and she she was just sort of, you know, riffing and talking. Yeah, 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 Clay. And um, they and one of the notes was just make them laugh. And she, and just some of the stuff she was doing, it was, yeah, we laughed. So I remember that it was really fun. <laughs> Oof. Nice. Um, could you maybe describe each other in three words? I always find this so difficult. Yeah. Can we so describe ourselves in three words? Describe yourself. <laughs> no. Um... I don't know. Uh, I think Dylan is. Um, she hasn't started yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me. Does someone else want to go first? I'd say Dylan is hilarious, smart, and very considerate. And I'd say Joe is happy, talented, and excitable. And I would say Hero is curious, handsome. And a very fun guy. Mm. <laughs> That's really nice. Hero, if you could get one of Hardin's tattoos, which one would you get? One of Hardin's what, sorry? Tattoos. Tattoos. Mm. A lot of them are growing on me. I'm starting to like them the, the more, more and more the more I wear them. Uh, it's funny to say wear a tattoo. I think I'm not many people <laughs> say that. Uh, there's a snake on the back of his arm that I do like. That I do like a lot. Yeah. It's one of the, uh, it's one of the few that actually have color in them. And I, I think that one cool. um, Josephine, do you identify yourself with Tessa? Um, in some ways, yeah, and in other ways, no. I, I think it's similar to every character you play. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, aside from things like we're from different countries and we're different ages and all that, um, uh, yeah, I don't, in some ways, yeah, and in other ways, just no. Okay, and Dylan, which reaction do you hope people will have after watching the After We Collided now that you're in it? Well, uh, I mean, I, I hope they don't hate me. Yes, that's the, <laughs> that's, that's the only, I think. Uh, but more importantly than all of that, um, besides me being in it, I, I think that I hope that they enjoy the sequel to this. I feel like people are really going to take to the changes and the new character developments, and I think, I think they're in for a, for a treat. I'm very excited, I must say. <laughs> um, also, which scene was your favorite to film? Me yeah. or? Yeah. Oh, oh. Um, uh, favorite scene to film? Uh, it had to either be the scene with the three of us, which was one of the only scenes that we got to shoot uh, where Harden kind of kicks the door down at the, uh, the apartment, and you'll see. Um, and uh, also, the nightclub scene. Nightclub scenes are always fun to film because it's a lot of people awkwardly dancing with no music. Yes. Um, and that's that's always fun to watch. Yeah, that sounds fun as well. <laughs> also, I, some of my Danish followers asked if you could say something in Danish. So if you could maybe say Hold Hold Miflu. What was that? 
<laughs> Whole cold mafleur. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you said? Oh, I in writing. <laughs> yeah, can you type it out in the Zoom chat? Yeah, I will type it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we got it. I don't know if you can see it. I'll just type it again. So if the, qu is the, the question is, oh, can we? Oh. No, we, we clearly can't. <laughs> Rod, Grod, Mad, Flood. Rock 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 mifflor. What does that mean? Wait, what are we saying before we say it? What does it mean? Wait, what are we saying before yeah. we say it? It's like some kind of pudding with something. What's it called? Ooh. Are we advertising pudding on your YouTube channel? Right yeah. yeah, hold on a minute. I've done this before. <laughs> rod, grod, and floor. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I've just said. <laughs> like, apologies okay, if it was in any way offensive. The last question I have for you is, uh, would you rather follow me on Instagram or delete your Instagram account? Delete my Instagram. These two are not the ones to ask. You guys are very inactive. I'd love an excuse to delete. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'd <laughs> obviously prefer to follow you than delete it. That would be a very silly, silly thing. Uh, well, uh, thank you so much. It was really nice talking to you. I'm very excited to see the app we collided. Thank you. We hope you love it. We hope you love it. Thank, thank you. you. I think I'm going to love it. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. You can head out and rejoin the other meeting. Okay. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> I fucked him and I had... Oh. Jeg sveder så meget lige nu. Oh, jeg var så nervøs, det var helt vildt. Oh. Sådan ser jeg. Wow, det er sindssygt det her. Altså, jeg, fik, jeg fik dem til at grine alle tre. Yeah, okay. Alle tre, de grinede, de var sådan det. Rum, 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 rum. Jeg var den eneste dansker, der skulle lave det her interview, og jeg var også den eneste, som ikke var sådan journalist. Jeg er den eneste sådan YouTuber, influencer, der har lavet et interview. Alle de andre havde journalister. Jeg sidder og snakker med dem alle sammen her på Zoom, mens jeg har siddet og ventet i sygt lang tid. Men jeg fik stillet alle de spørgsmål, jeg har skrevet ned, som også var for jer og alle sammen derude. Ej, jeg ved ikke, hvad jeg skal sige nu. Det var sådan en helt overvældende oplevelse der. After We Collide kommer ud den 10. september i biografen, så det kan I godt glæde jer mega meget til. Jeg er så excited over det her lige nu. Det er fuldstændig med mig det. Jeg håber, at I kunne lide at se den her video og det her interview. Jeg synes selv, det var crazy at få lov til det her, og bare at sidde og snakke med mig. De bare var sådan mega cool alle sammen. Altså, ja, jeg følte, de var ret. Så er jeg altså ærlig. Det var jo, nice. Jo, ja, meget nødvendigt stille rundt om jorden. Ja. Mega cool, men uh, ja, jeg vil bare sige tusind tak for at se videoen. Jeg håber, I kunne lide den. Husk at like og subscribe, og uh, skriv lige ned i kommentarerne, hvor meget I glæder jer til after, og ses bare igen i min næste video. Hej!